Hey there! I am Peter, from Mexico, really appreciate EPC Land for giving me this opportunity to present another topic. Welcome to the explanation of pipeline pigging, a common practice in the oil and gas industry. By the end of this video, we will be able to understand what the pig in and how it is carried out. Let's begin with the first part and understand what is pigging. Pipeline pigging is the process of using devices called pigs to clean, maintain, test, and inspect pipelines. Pigs are typically made of various materials such as polyurethane open cell foam, cast polyurethane, or rubber, and can be of different shapes and sizes depending on the pipeline's diameter, fluid type, and the cleaning or maintenance task required. During pigging, the pig is inserted into the pipeline, and it travels through the pipeline with the flow of the product. The pig is typically driven by the pressure of the fluid in the pipeline, and it passes through the entire length of the pipeline. The pig's shape and material properties help it to perform various tasks such as cleaning the pipeline walls, removing debris or buildup, and measuring the pipeline's internal dimensions. For pipelines that are already in operation, pigging is performed without stopping the flow of the product in the pipeline. This technique is known as hot pigging, and it is done to avoid disrupting the supply of the product. In contrast, cold pigging is performed on pipelines that are not in operation. There are several reasons why pigging is essential. First, it helps to maintain the pipeline's integrity by removing debris and buildup that could cause blockages, corrosion, or even rupture. Second, it helps to optimize the pipeline's performance by ensuring that the internal dimensions are consistent and the flow rate is consistent. Third, it helps to improve product quality by removing any contaminants or impurities that could affect the product's quality or composition. In conclusion, pipeline pigging is an essential process in the oil and gas industry that helps to maintain pipeline integrity, optimize pipeline performance, and improve product quality. The use of pigs is a proven and effective method that has been used for decades and continues to be a critical part of pipeline maintenance and inspection programs. Now let's jump to second part, how the pigging process is carried out. By inserting the pig into a pig launcher or launching station and then applying flow under pressure to the rear of the device it will move into the pipeline. The force applied by a pig as it traverses a pipeline can be calculated by multiplying the cross-sectional area of the back of the pig by the pressure applied to the rear of the pig. Once a pig has launched and is moving through the pipeline the differential pressure can be calculated by subtracting the pressure in front of the pig from the pressure acting on the back of the pig. The pig speed can be calculated by tracking the pig at various points along the pipeline and calculating the time it takes to arrive at each point against the input pressure and flow rate and then converting to velocity. Generally, the outside diameter of most pigs will be sized to be larger than the internal bore and the resultant interference enables the pig to scrape and remove debris as it traverses the pipeline. The degree of effectiveness in cleaning or clearing a pipeline is determined by the type of pig employed along with other influencing factors such as flow rate, pig speed, pressure, temperature, volume of debris to be removed, length of the pipeline, number of pigging runs, number and type of bends, pipeline elevations, pigging frequency, and others. When the pig reaches the other end of the pipeline it is captured in a pig catcher, or receiving station, which is isolated via a shut-off valve, allowing the pig to be safely removed. So, this is all about the two sections. Hope, you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching, see you in the next video.